Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I want to show you what Windows 8 looks like on an HP touchpad tablet. This is a 9.7 inch tablet with a 1024 by 768 pixel display and a 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's been recently discontinued, but fairly popular among bargain hunters, and it's uh, not uh, very different from a lot of Android tablets and other tablets that are on the market today. And eventually, Windows 8 will be the uh, first operating system that really is designed to run on tablets with similar hardware, with ARM-based processors instead of x86 processors. Right now, uh, Windows 8 is not yet available for um, ARM, but there's a developer preview that's available for x86 processors. And therefore, I downloaded it onto a netbook, and I'm using the Splashtop HD remote control application to control that netbook using the tablet and sort of we sort of have a look at the uh, the experience. It's not um, quite the full touch-based experience because this version of Windows expects a keyboard and mouse and so you can see I've got a little on-screen cursor here and, and some actions are going to be a lot easier to do using the, uh, the keyboard and mouse, although Splashtop does let you bring up an on-screen keyboard which is nice. Um, Windows 8 does have a very touch-friendly user interface, as you can see here. And you can navigate between applications. Now, if you had a normal touch-based version, you'd be able to just sort of scroll with your finger instead of using the scroll bar. But you can also access full desktop-style applications um, using a more de uh, traditional desktop view. But let's take a look at some of the, uh, the touch-based apps here. So for instance, the version of Windows Explorer, which has what uh, Microsoft calls a chromeless design, meaning that there's really nothing around the borders. You just sort of get a full screen browsing experience. Uh, when you first load a web page, you'll see a URL bar down here in the bottom. But when you start navigating, it just disappears and lets you scroll through. Um, I've noticed scrolling is a little bit difficult on this particular version, um, so it's a little less responsive than I'd like it to be, but it sort of shows you what it'll look like. Um, also supports pinch to zoom. And we can get a uh, list of browser tabs, URL location bar, etc. Let's go back to the start menu here. And uh, take a quick look at some of the other applications that are available. Again, there's a full screen weather application designed uh, to sort of give you the uh, weather at a glance without giving you all sorts of menu bars and icons and things like that around the side. Normally loads a little bit faster. I've got a um, Windows 8 running on a computer where the wireless card seems to have a little bit of trouble and then of course I'm trying to stream that then to here. But looks pretty good. Looks almost like a, a native webOS uh, style app or something. We've got a search box, which doesn't want to come up. Okay, well, it seems like the connection is getting kind of slow and unusable here, but oh, here we go. Sped up a little bit. So you can search for different apps. And of course, the on screen keyboard in Windows is going to look a little bit different from the on screen keyboard um, in WebOS. But uh, overall, you know, it's, it's a nice touch based experience. Uh, 
can't really give you an idea of how fast it's going to be, and it's not even clear what the minimum system requirements are going to be, so we don't know for certain whether the touchpad will be able to run Windows 8 out of the box, um, although I suspect that there will be somebody hacking their way to making it work, even if it's not officially supported. But that gives you a, a sort of little idea of what Windows 8 would look like on this tablet. It's a pretty nice tablet, especially if you were able to pick one up for $99. Um, it's discontinued. Uh, there's not going to be very many left going around. Uh, I suspect you might be able to find some for uh, for bargain prices on eBay, but probably not as cheap as $99. Um, but I suspect that we will see similar hardware running Windows 8 in the future. Uh, probably be a little bit more expensive, but it's uh, it's interesting to sort of see what's possible in terms of cheap Windows 8 tablets with ARM-based processors. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.